So my dear students, welcome to you all in the new sessions, and uh, I welcome to all of you. I am Neeraj sir here, taking your previous classes, and previously, uh, Joy Thali Madam already taking the class uh, that is the chapter Poonam day out, and uh, part one that one it is continued part two in the previous Poonam day out it is already discussed the various animals, and today we are discussing about the categories of. Uh, various animals okay and for you only four categories are there first of all insects everybody repeat with me insect then reptiles then birds then mammals understood everyone so please note down also next is first of all insects okay let's have see the characteristic of their insects first point insect have cell like covering see that insect have cell like covering on the outside of their body pair of antenna second point pair of antenna on their head understood everyone see third points their pair of legs that is six or more than it and the fourth number you can see here few are having two wings too understood see very fine uh, diagram you can observe and uh, please draw it and practice as well that is butterfly and ant and moving to the next uh, that is reptiles understood everyone so reptiles first of all point is most of them live on land and lay eggs understood everyone so most of them live on land and lay eggs second they have scales on their body third it crawl on walls or land understood so example is what snake lizard see here snake uh, also you can observe okay uh, moving to the next that is bird so first point in the bird is that all have feathers second point all most of the birds lay eggs understood everyone third number we love them for their musical songs and fourth number most fourth number point is most of them can fly example parrots penguins understood see the very fine diagrams of birds and you can draw and practice okay and the last is mammals first point is the mammals the only animal that grow hair and second points all mammals give birth to their young ones example please note down human dolphins elephant you see the diagram also okay coming to the next first of all do all animals move in a same way kindly give me the answer no all animals do not move in a same way some animals walk some crawl some fly and some swim also for this some animal use their feet example is dog cat human beings some use their wings also say for example birds animals even take the help of their tail say for example monkey so next is that yes children why do animals move from one place to another can anyone say guess it yes you all are right they are moving from one place in the search of foods and shelters please note down let's have discussion of few question answers related to this topic first questions write the names of the bird which cannot fly answer think it that is ostrich penguin and kiwi next is second questions write which of them can fly The answer is sparrow pigeons can crawl snake lizard can walk deer cat can hop rabbit kangaroo and have a wings pigeons cuckoo sparrow have feet cow goat bear have tail monkey cow buffalo understood everybody monkey cow buffalo number questions is right three points of difference between mammals and reptiles so make a two columns and write at the top mammals and here reptiles first point is the mammals they give birth to young ones okay not a they give birth to young ones everybody speak they give birth to young ones and the first point of the reptile they lay eggs second they walk they crawl third point mammals have hairs on their body 
reptiles they have a scales on their body mammals example is human elephant as you already observed reptiles snake and lizard thank you everyone we will conclude this classes and hope so everybody practice well and revise well and please stay home stay safe thank you